Hello everybody, Reverend Mary, and I'm going to share a rapture dream with you. It was 3.54 a.m. July the 30th, 2016. I heard Israel people divided. I, I'm going to tell you the vision, I was in a white dressing. I can only see shoulder up, but just like the dress and the head covering you'd see in a movie about Jesus, that's how it was. My head was covered, no hair was showing. Before this, I was in the midst of white shadows, no longer human form. Very quiet, peaceful, beautiful. And I remembered saying, your spirit is within me. And then a word was given. God wants to show himself in every believer, but we hinder the Holy Spirit by what we fill our minds with. Spirit versus flesh. Waves of darkness can flood a man's soul. When we are where we should be, the Holy Spirit manifests. Waves of darkness, but the Spirit manifests. God's Spirit lives in the saved. We as a people have rejected the power and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. We have walked in darkness, rejected and denying the power of the Holy Spirit. Without power, there is no light, no manifestation. We are spiritually dead. We are a people without excuse. I have extended grace. I have extended mercy. I am still neglected, ignored. This generation has no time for me. A generation that has built great churches and great programs, but not seeked or asked me what I desired. A generation that has left me out. The honored guest at times, but for the most part, I am left out. I am the church. How can you leave me out? How can you be the church without me? It has become a house of thieves, a den of vipers. Worship is true and honors me, the most high God. There is no substitute. My spirit has been grieved. This generation is full of idol worship. And it's I-D-L-E, meaning you have plenty of time. Too much time. Time is at hand and much time has been given. Time runs out. You have worshipped created things more than me, your creator. My spirit dwells in the believer. Idol, too much time, has become idol, I-D-O-L, worship. You cannot serve more than one master. Time on this earth is almost done. Everything we have done to build great houses, great wealth, abundance, will come to a bitter end. Most people have stored up treasure on this earth. To their dismay and unbelief, it will soon be chaff, burned to rubble, and become a pile of ashes. Things stored up in heaven do not burn. They are everlasting and everlasting. Treasures are preserved and reserved for the meek and humble. But no pride exists in my presence. I have loved you with all I am and all I had to offer, and offered more in eternity. But so many have loved this life. They did not choose wisely. I had so much to, to offer, but not taken. Wealth untold, unmeasurable, is stored up in heaven for my children. Here they labor in vain, for the kingdom is in heaven, not earthly treasures. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. My kingdom come, my will be done forever. Amen. Praise God. That's a powerful word. And I hope that you receive it and take it to heart and repent of your sins. Seek God while you still can. God bless you. Jesus is coming soon. Sister Mary, thank you. Signing out.